Today I'm going to be making a zucchini bread. Begin by placing one and a half cups of unbleached flour into a medium sized bowl. Followed by a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Mix that all together and set it aside. Next into another bowl, place one cup of grated peeled zucchini. To the zucchini add a half a cup of finely chopped walnuts and a half a cup of raisins that have been soaked in water for about 30 minutes and drained. Then add in the zest from one lemon. That should equal to about one teaspoon. Mix that together and set that aside. Now in a larger bowl, place one cup of granulated sugar. Add to that a half a cup of canola oil. And two large eggs. I like to crack my eggs in a separate bowl before adding them in. After you've added in your eggs, add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract and mix that all together until smooth. Now you can begin adding your dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. Begin stirring in the flour mixture a little at a time. When most of the flour mixture has been mixed in, you can now add in your zucchini mixture. Just stir that in until nicely combined. That's how it should look. Line a medium-sized loaf pan with parchment paper and then take your filling and place it into the pan. Smooth out the top a bit and then place it into the oven and bake it at 350 degrees for about 55 to 60 minutes. When the loaf is done baking, test it with a toothpick. If the toothpick comes out clean, the loaf is finished. Remove it from the baking pan and allow it to cool before slicing. The loaf will form a nice crust on top and the inside will be nice and moist.
If you have enjoyed watching this video, please give me a thumbs up and click here to subscribe.